the recent uh, the sharp fall in oil prices we have seen has has been positive for for, for bond markets, especially in advanced uh, advanced countries, mainly because of the impact it has had on inflation. So what we have seen is uh, since the sharp fall, we uh, uh, in, a, in a number of emerging markets have uh, started uh, easing their monetary policy, and that effect has uh, transmitted to bond markets as well. At the same time, however, if the oil prices were to rise again on the back of, for example, let's say geopolitics risk or supply issues, we will see that effect reverse, and that creates a risk factor for bond markets. On the European uh, monetary policy side, first of all, the broad remark I would like to make is that QE, which has, was deployed by the ECB, is, is going to stay with us for, for the foreseeable future, mainly because uh, Europe needs a lot of monetary stimulus for economic growth and inflation to rise on a sustained basis. What it means is that rates are probably going to remain low, even though liquidity picture, underlying liquidity picture is becoming quite, uh, uh, quite fractured. At the same time, we think the, uh, the central banks uh, will uh, try to suppress volatility. So it, it create, does create a positive environment for bond markets, but what offsets that is the, actually the fractional liquidity environment where market participants such as ourselves at times are experiencing difficulty coming in and out of the market. So that's the two factors which are now clashing, the very exponentially uh, monetary policy coming from Euro, Eurozone and clashing with the fractured micro liquidity environment in the markets. Talking to, to the delegates attending this conference, it has been a very a, a interesting and important source of insight, insights for us, especially the sentiment and the mood in this part of the world. Uh, and, and we're taking some very key messages back to, to Europe uh, in terms of how uh, Middle East, which is uh, traditionally uh, a source of big savings in the, in the global system, uh, are viewing the world, especially the fixed income world. So quite useful, specific insights. And I thank you for that. In terms of the key messages for fixed income investors, uh, I think we have to be clear that uh, the influence of central banks on fixed income is unprecedented. I think that's the first key message. I think people understand that. However, what uh, uh, is less understood is that central banks are not only using the level of rates, but also volatility as policy tools. What it means is that, uh, that the fractured liquidity environment will at times clash with this policy stance, and we will see episodes of volatility. And, and at Lombardia, uh, what we are seeing, saying is that we need to focus on fundamentals. So underlying fundamentals of, of issuers and issues make sense in this environment where the likelihood of more storms or, or market storms has increased considerably.